Good morning, students. Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to study about galaxies. Yes, we'll continue our chapter further. As we all know that there are millions of stars in the universe. A galaxy system of millions of stars or billions of stars together with the gases and dust held together by the force of gravitation. The word galaxy has been taken from the Greek word galaxias. Clear students, from where this word has come, galaxy, galaxias, which means milky. Bright bands like a white glowing path across the sky on clear starry night is known as Milky Way Galaxy or Akash Ganga. Here, Akash Ganga means river of light. It is the home to the solar system and one of the unique planets, the Earth. Now, the next topic which we are going to study as the name contained the chapter, the solar system, we are going to study about the solar system. Solar systems mean the family of sun. <coughs> the solar system comprises of the sun and its different planets. There are totally eight planet students. There yeah. are satellites and other heavenly bodies known as the asteroids and meteoroids held by gravity. The sun is the center of the solar system and all other heavenly bodies, either major or minor, revolve around it. The eight planets in the solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Students, in 2006, there were nine planets. Pluto was also included in this solar family. But after 2006, Pluto is not there in the solar family. It is a dwarf planet, very tiny planet, students. Now, we will study about each one of these in detail. So first we will study about the sun. You all know about the sun and every day you see the sun. Dear students, sun is the most, one of the hundred million stars in the giant galaxy which is called as the Milky Way. It was formed about 5,000 billion years ago. It is a hot gaseous spherical mass of hydrogen and helium which is continuously radiating heat and light energy in all directions. It is the main source of heat and light energy in the solar system. It is about 13,000 times more bigger than the Earth. Yes, See, it seems smaller, but it is millions times bigger than the Earth. And you know, the everyday energy, heat, light we are getting is from the sun itself. Now, about the other planets on the earth. The term planet has been derived from the Greek word planetary, which means wandering star. According to the International Astronomical, there are eight planets in the solar system. As I already told you that there are eight planets. And I gave the names of eight planets also. All these planets move around the sun in a fixed path known as orbits. Yes, students? They all move in a fixed path. And this fixed path is called as orbit. They also rotate simultaneously on their axis while revolving around the sun. Planets do not have their own light. They take their light from the sun. Clear students? So this was about the planets. Students, you can go through their different measurements, size, 
everything about each planet. Now the planets have been divided into two different types inner planets and the outer planets. What are the inner planets? There are four planets. There are Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars which are dense and rocky. They are called as the inner planets. The hottest planet is Venus. The hottest planet is Venus, not Mercury. Because the atmosphere of Venus traps the sun's heat. Mercury and Venus do not have any satellites or moons, whereas the Earth has one and Mars has two moons. Now about the outer planets. The outer planets are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They are very big and giant in size as compared to the inner planets. However, they are lighter, less dense as they are made up of gas and liquids.